Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the measure of angle R is 2 pi over 3 radians, and the measure of angle T is 5 pi over 12 radians greater than the measure of angle R. And we're asked, what is the measure of angle T in degrees? So before we worry about uh, degrees, let's find out what is the measure of angle T in radians. We're told that it's 5 pi over 12 greater than angle R, which is 2 pi over 3. So it's 2 pi over 3 plus an additional 5 pi over 12. We just want to simplify this, so we want to get a common denominator. If we multiply this fraction by 4 over 4, 4 divided by 4 is just 1, so we're multiplying this by 1. It doesn't actually change the value of the angle, but if we don't just cancel these out and instead multiply them across, we get 4 times 2 is 8, don't forget the pi, over 4 times 3 is 12. This is plus 5 pi over 12. And now we have two fractions with a common denominator, and we can just add the numerators. So 8 pi plus 5 pi is going to give you 13 pi over 12. Okay, now this is the measure in radians, and we want it in degrees. So 13 pi over 12. The conversion from radians to degrees is to multiply by 180 over pi. If this is hard to remember, then you can note that in a circle is 360 degrees or 2 pi radians, so you could do 360 over 2 pi, but the rule that I'm going to use is 180 over pi makes the math a little bit easier. The pi's cancel out. We get 13 times 180 divided by 12. So we want to simplify this. So we can see 180 is divisible by 3, right? It's 3 times 60. We know that because 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 12 is the same as 3 times 4. So we can do this. 13 times 60 over 4. 60 is equal to 4 times 15. So then these 4s cancel, and we're left with 13 times 15, which you can do out and find is 195. Right On the actual SAT, you're going to be able to do a calculator, but since I uh, don't have that here, I just showed you how you'd simplify it without doing some uh, uh, long multiplication. 195C is going to be your final answer.